Tribeca has like created community and why? I think a brand new group of skiers are coming uh, from Copenhagen, from other places that don't have very good conditions. Uh, and I think Copenhill, Amabake, there's like this whole new community of skiers growing up. We got 12 year old Valdemar. He told me he's never skied like tricks on snow, but he can do a two part two after a year of skiing. And I think that's pretty incredible. That's the kid right there. Yes. <laughs> uh, Skis. Where are we skiing? Copenhill. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to Copenhill. Oh <laughs> that is too funny. You brought your own skis for that. Thank you. Action. Action. Begins now. I can already see you stumbling at 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> I'll be running. <laughs> Are you guys getting coffee? I just need a beer. Bye. Oh dear, low battery. Why? kid in the back. <laughs> oh shit! Don't worry, he's just visiting. in a few words. Huh? In Denmark we've never had a mountain. We never had a place to call our own when it comes to skiing. And now we have Copenhill and obviously that's going to create more skiers and make a community. But the fact that it's been taken in, we've had a good setups, we have rails, we have uh, small jumps and it, all in all just really good sessions. We're seeing people who can't ski at all. They spend a year here in the weekends and they come to snow and they start blasting. Yeah. And they're gonna jump off cat tracks and do park sevens. Exactly. <laughs> Oh. 
<laughs> Growing up, there was a group of five or six of us that were within like a four year age range that were skiing the park every day. We had the facility, we just had to understand it first. I think get used to it. realize how much fun it is and then kind of build the culture around it and import the culture from other ski towns and other freestyle areas. I think the fact that I was able to see how that scaled into what Park City and the West Western ski resorts are today and compare it to here when you have Jakob. All the other locals who are coming out here and shredding, killing it. I think those kids are really going to help bring more attention to Copen Hill and to this type of skiing. that we're having tomorrow it's gonna be I mean it's gonna be a bit of a crowd pleaser I think because a lot of the people here are, are here to see these guys ski so I think it's way more about the vibe and style and a bit of crowd pleasing. Is everyone cool with riding in a jersey? Yeah. Representing their country? Yeah. Yeah. The idea is to make this event spectator friendly. Because there's a lot of people coming out here who don't know much about freestyle skiing and we want to get them into freestyle skiing. So I think a way to do that is like doing this. Uh, so the idea is a slope style comp. We're gonna go two hours. You can do as many laps as you want. Um, as long as you ride with your partner. So you drop in together. Scandinavian team battle in Copenhagen Hill 2021. Welcome. Let's keep it live. Let's keep it hot.
Think you come ski here? Huh? You guys ever think you'd be here? Yeah. Skiing? Yeah. Cause you love it? Yeah. <laughs> say we love Copenhill. We love Copenhill. Cause we're skiing. How could you say no? Yeah. Good point. Yeah, I can stay a couple more nights at that hotel too. <laughs> Cause it's Friday and it's Saturday, Sunday. Night. some avant-garde uh, party footage last night? I'm sure. Uh, you had that thing out in the mix, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I do. Well, that's really all come true. <laughs> <laughs> 
We're signing out from the big video. It's been a great time, and we'll see you next year. We'll see you next year. Yeah. On to the next or yeah. what? That's the ender.